Hey guys, Arthur here, coming to you with another video on what's going on in the world of Pokemon Go. But before we dive right into the video, make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe, share the video, leave a comment in the comment section, and if you want to join my Discord, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description as well, and I'll also leave the link to the article if you want to read your, the article yourself, if you find anything interesting in the article, I'll leave a link to the article um, in the description. So let's dive right in. Right, and Pokemon Go fans noticed Niantic quietly nerfed a big raid feature. Not only are they uh, nerfing remote raids, but they're also nerfing a feature in raids itself. Pokemon Go players have noticed that Niantic seems to have quietly nerfed the distance players can walk away from a raid after their team faints. Way from a raid after their team faints. Pokemon Go trainers are still uh, reeling from the aftermath of Niantic's controversial decision to adjust remote raid pass pricing and availability, which left many members of the community unhappy. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my videos, guys, there's a lot of people that are not happy. If you're not in my any of the discords that I'm in. Um, but a lot of people are not happy. They're, these places are dead now because of this. Uh, after the update went live, some players in rural communities claimed these changes made raiding impossible thanks to long wait times and few players available to join. Now, some eagle-eyed fans think Niantic has quietly introduced another nerf to raids that may make them even more difficult, which centers around the distance you can physically travel while still in your raid. So if you're in a car and you're raiding, you got your raid, and then you go like a very long distance away from the raid, you go to the next one, I guess that's what they did, they nerfed it. Pokemon Go players spot in-person raid nerf. A post on the Silk Road subreddit explained the nerf with the title Distance you can walk from a raid and can still rejoin after your team faint seems to be have been reduced to 80 meters. The OP explained that they started a Lunderous raid lobby with a normal raid pass, invited other random players to battle with them, began walking. Unfortunately, Lunderous proved to be be effective against their team of ice types and defeated them. The dis uh, distance you can walk from raid and can still rejoin after your team faint seems to have been reduced to 80, 80 miles. Is it 80 miles or 80 meters? It could be 80 miles or 80 meters if, if you're in person. Uh, there, uh, they go on to explain that normally when I walk and raid, I can go, I can go pretty far, about 300 meters. Okay, so it's meters, 300 m, which are part meters, or so, and still rejoin the battle. But today, I found myself having to walk all the way back to the eight, uh, 80 mile, uh, 80 mit, 80 meter spin limit of the gym in order to rejoin the raid which was pretty frustrating so um when you're in that raid i guess you gotta you gotta have like there's a longer distance that you can rejoin the raid after your team was has fainted so they were they nerfed that too so that you can be in that area they want you stuck in that area basically that's still collecting data they want you stuck in that area, collecting the data, collecting everything um, that they need to sell off that data, sell your data to a Pacific company or a Pacific, uh, to maybe a Pacific government. And um, that's what they want you to do. It, it looks like they probably did nerf. If you, It looks like they did nerf the, the distance of, like, if you can rejoin the battle after your team has fainted or has fainted. 
Other players in the reply supported the claim and said they experienced similar situations. If it's happening to uh, a few people, then it may be an error. But if it's happening to a lot of people, then it's a it's a nerf that they didn't explain to people. Like, oh, okay, now if you uh, join a raid and then you leave, if you walk like a certain amount of distance away from the raid, and you can't rejoin. I mean, uh, we they they're gonna re they reduced it. They didn't reduce, they didn't tell anybody that they reduced it. But now, everything that's going on in this thing, ever since that time, they haven't been letting people know. Other players, okay, yeah, I already read that. This happened to me with the Regaliki raid, and the the raid was expired by the time all my Pokemon fainted, so I missed out. There was a lot of confusion in whether the distance players could travel had actually changed. But the o, uh, OP claimed online player claimed to have tested, measured, and the previous distance they were familiar with, which was roughly 250 meters. Which, uh, while this isn't a make or break change for in person rating, it certainly limits how trainers are actually able to play in person. Hopefully Niantic will make clarifying statements surrounding this change in the future. Yeah, they didn't let nobody know. That sucks. There, everything that's being said about after this, dude, is not making Niantic look like the, the good person in this shit. They're not letting people know that, okay, now that you gotta stay near the raid that you are in, at around 80 meters. If you, you're not there then. You won't be able to rejoin the game. Or rejoin the raid. After your team has fainted. That sucks dude. That sucks. It sucks sucks sucks. That. They didn't tell anybody about this. They, they, usually they say. Hey we have something. We have uh, did this to this raid. This is what we've been doing. This is what this patch did. Not even the data miners knew about this. They're supposed to be helping us when when it comes to data mining and stuff. But um seems like um they didn't pick it up or it's not that really important, much important. So basically they actually want you around that area, stuck in that area, especially um uh even if it's in like a da more dangerous area, that's why I have never recommended anybody to uh, in-person raid. If you're gonna play outside the game, I suggest don't don't use campfire. Um, go where there's like like you know it's safe, where there's like not a lot of crime in that area. It's the only way you can play now is uh, now you gotta watch your surroundings. And you got you. Gotta, Oh my god, dude, this is not good for players. This is not making the ante look like the 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 nice little innocent Niantic that they are. This sucks, dude. This this sucks for people. And uh sad sad that this is happening. This is sad. Niantic, either you say something about this, and they haven't said, they have been saying, but that's only in interviews, but they have to do like a, like a, like at least a social media video saying somebody like somebody who's like VP of marketing or somebody higher than that, uh, the CEO or CFO or somebody who's that high, like a vice president, maybe Maybe John Hankey himself, like, hey, John, six billion last year. How much you miss? How much money you think you gonna make this year? With uh, with uh, what's going on in the economy of every other country, what do you, how do you think you're gonna make six billion this year, John? How much? How much money, man? Because people are gonna have to go outside and, and still work their butt off, and you want them to go back outside in a very dangerous time. To be going outside. 
Well, you gotta get the data. The data is more important. We can sell it off. We'll sell it off to other countries, or sell it off to other businesses, and sell sell it off. We gotta sell that data. Data is more important. That is where the money is. That's where data is. That's where the money is. Is the data. We sell off your data, and we make more, much more money than six billion dollars. We make trillions and trillions of dollars in data. <laughs> this is why we went here. Because the data is the money maker. Data is the true currency for Niantic. I want to see how many players. Since that, will they push out the numbers of how many players are actually playing the game? Still, we'll see. This is going to deter a lot of players, dude. This is if not not a lot of players. I don't know how many players are still playing, but if this is going to make people not want to play their game anymore. It's going to be worse. And that's not going to be good for your data that you're getting. The amount of location data that you're getting prior to the switch, prior to the patch fix. Prior to that, you're going to get even worse numbers. You're not getting them in the rural areas anymore. You're not getting them there. They, you, you just disenfranchise rural players. If rural players haven't quit... Uh, right now, then they'll eventually quit. How much percent of them will be moving into the big cities? Their big city, the big city in their wherever they live. How many? A majority? No. A plurality? No. A, per a small percentage? What? Like what? Two percent? You gonna get two percent? Is two percent worth it? It seems to me like the data is more important than the money that you get from in-person uh, purchase, in-purchase, in-person purchases. But when it comes to that article that I read yesterday, it doesn't seem like it is so neantic. Because you wouldn't have made that decision of creating your own website and making money off of that. Angering maybe Google and Apple the same way that Fortnite angered Google and Apple because they're not making as much money. They wanted to make more money. So they you open up your own website so that you can offset the cost of remote raids in order to make more money. And then you offer that by like oh, a few couple of hundred coins here and there no matter uh, if you buy like this amount of coins still not gonna still not gonna solve that oh man you're so stupid this is so stupid oh my god this is how you destroy a game this is how you do it um the reason that fortnite works the way it does and that is because it doesn't rely on people going outside it keeps still people inside. It keeps people inside. And that's what people like to be in their out inside their home, doing what they want to do, escaping from reality, escaping the world. And your game, you're asking people to go outside the world. You gotta listen to people. You gotta listen to people's stories. You gotta get make friends. You gotta, gotta be out there in the world. Some people don't wanna make friends. Some people don't wanna know anybody. You're making them do that. You're making them do something they don't want to do. Is that a majority of them? No. Is it maybe half? No. Maybe it's a percent, a plurality of people. And that will affect your bottom line. You're going to be like, what's what went wrong? Is it going to, are you going to feel the effect right now? No. You're going to feel the effect two months from now? Maybe three months, four months, five months, maybe six months down the road. You're going to be like, Who's the idiot? You're going to be like, well, it was this guy over here who told us to do this. Like, oh, <laughs> no. If you didn't believe in what this guy was envisioning and you just nipped it in the bud before it even happened, then that means that you were in line with what was going to happen. And it's too late. Too late to backtrack because who's going to trust you to not do this again? Who's going to trust you not to do this? Who's going to trust you? Let me know in the comment section. Who is going to trust them not to do this again? Not to lose faith in the game again? 
Who's going to do that? Who's going to trust Niantic not to do this ever again? Nobody. Nobody. Go ahead. Collect your data. How much are you going to have? I don't know. You're not, you're not going to get the same amount of data that you think that because you have billions, millions and millions of, over millions and hundreds of millions of people playing the game. I mean, imagine how many, how much. They said like 30, 40, uh, 30% of people deleted the game and not playing no more. How much is that of 100 million? That's 30 million people. 70 million people still play, playing the game, but... Is that going to give you the amount of data that you... Let's say, you, let's say before the patch you got... You got... Like maybe 40, 50 million people from, um, or maybe 60 million people giving out their location data, give, getting that, that, that data that you wanted. You're doing all of this. You're losing 30 million people only to get 10 million people to give up their data. It's ridiculous. Hopefully it's worth it to you. This is not worth it for people. Hopefully it's worth it for you, Niantic. You have laid in the bed and hopefully you are enjoying yourself sleeping in it. You have just destroyed this game. And that's why I named my first video on this The Death of Pokemon Go. The Death of Pokemon Go. Because that what they did and following through with their plan. Because they didn't listen. It looks like it didn't listen. They didn't listen to nobody. They have literally destroyed their game. They have literally destroyed their game. Let me know in the comment section guys. Uh, how you feel about this video. This article. This news. It's uh, in-game raids are now different. How if, uh, how more different are they now? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the share, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.